Okay guys, so this is a um, look that I posted on Instagram and I recorded how I did it. So let's get into it. I'm using the Stroke Cream by MAC, concealer, <clears throat> powder, Jane Ardell's foundation, eye mask, eye primer, 24 hour, the best. I like this foundation because it's sheer finish and it's skincare makeup so I have a problematic skin so this skin this foundation never ever breaks me out um, and I love this lip primer from MAC too I'm using now the fun stuff Jane Ardell brown pencil any brown pencil will do you can <clears throat> use cold pencil create sort of um, little winged eye we're gonna extend it with time patience here into a bigger cat eye now I forgot that I want to do the shaping powder I'm using this is from Mac emphasize or you can use any white powder like that one from the inner that I picked up because I wanted to blend those two shades um, just need a light colors and then I'm adding on the lid I added a little bit gold dazzle shadow that was, was from Mac um, now okay now we're gonna create that more foxy um, eyeliner action going there so you know use a pencil but use it like a straight edge like this brush to blend it out and whatever you mess up you can fix with concealer or a little bit with a q-tip with makeup remover the key is to put it in your ear duct and then extend it, kind of like a tutorial look. Now I'm going to use this kind of purplish brownish eyeshadow to emphasize that brown and give it a little bit shade, give it a little bit more shimmer. That one is um, Jane Ardell's Trio eyeshadow makeup and it's wrapped in shades ravishing. Then I'm going to brush up my brows a little bit for that more fun tutorial look. Then we'll add eyelash primer, false eyelashes, maximizer by MAC. And then we're adding mascara. I wish I used waterproof mascara for this look because I ended up messing up my face later in the day. That's one thing. But I do like non waterproof mascaras because they do come off much easier. And if I'm not going anywhere special, they're usually okay during the day but just saying if you're going somewhere special okay let's do now I'm adding some black along the lash line as you saw there I added a little bit of that other trio color kind of like orangey color on my crease just to give that a little bit shadow shimmer there above and um, I'm darkening with this black Jane Ardell black color it's like a matte shape I'm adding it there and a little bit in the tear duct and out outer corners not going all the way now you see I'm adding this is shine and pearl shimmery powder from Mac I know makeup forever has something similar like that I've seen in Nationalist videos do this similar look and then I'm adding some shimmer there in the ear duct look um, by the way, I really love these videos. Um, so just, I love that whole Middle Eastern style. Um, but anyway, so now I'm, I'm using Max Nude Eyeshadow uh, Lip. Sorry, eyeshadow. Lip, sorry. It was Lip and Frog, and then I added Jane Ardell, um, like a nude. No, that was Spice Lip Planner, and then Max Fix Pro um, with Vitamin C. This is their new radiance setting spray oh, which is supposed to be good for your skin too um and now i'm using um i wish i had lashes that are just like a three quarter like not full because you want to emphasize that angle that end and unfortunately i didn't have any and i didn't want to wait to do this look so i just kind of put my regular rashes I had from Amazon I just kind of moved them a little bit towards the end of my eye more than I would usually do um, so they're a little bit protruding there on the outer corners of my eyes but that's kind of like my key was to give that illusion and then we'll add some contour and powder of course almost forgot about that my nose cheeks and forehead I hope you enjoyed this look uh, this is 
kind of like foxy eye the way I did it today is a little bit or more like you know going out vibe not maybe everyday look but you could tone it down um, just do like a shadow light that shape I did have some pencil eyeliner and um, but because I have time it's quarantine so anyways let me know what you guys think uh, I'm not trying to copy anyone like people have been doing the Bella Thorne look and they're shaving their brows they're like trying to get that fake surgery look um, my goal is not that um, for me the foxy eyes is when you kind of go here you lift here with a little cat eye even though it's a foxy eye but the thing between difference get to for me cat eye and foxy eye is that you go you know up to here here tear duct and that's what gives that foxy eye look uh, and it does lift eye <clears throat> you know this is my natural brows how I do them I wasn't gonna go conceal here and then extend them out which I could but I don't want to because I don't want to be like you know like everyone was following Drew Barrymore in, in the 80s and then everyone looked ridiculous um yeah don't do that don't copy someone else's brows just do what works best for your face and you always look great so yeah let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you next video thank you guys for watching really appreciate it and have a brilliant day and see my other videos that I made. I made quite a few makeup video looks in this camera. At first I thought, you know, I'll leave nude lip, but then I decided, you know, maybe glossy would look better. I put the lip glass, because I love how it feels better, but lip mix looks much better. But you know, um, for this look, I don't need it to be that extremely shiny. So I decided to go with this one and I can wear it for the rest of the day and not feel like my lips are being gooey. Thanks for watching. Let me know which look do you like better with the lip mix gloss, lip glass or without it. I'm curious. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Click that subscribe button and notification bell to get a notification when I upload next. And I hope to be uploading more on this quarantine because I have time. Thankfully, so much fun. See you later, guys. Please drop a comment too. It really would.